Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to solve a three variable system of linear equations when there are infinitely many solutions. Before we get into the example, let's go over our steps in order to solving our three variable system. Step one, we want to take our three variable system with um, three equations and write it as two equations with two variables. So we're going to do that by the process of elimination or substitution. I would probably prefer elimination. It's probably going to be easier 99% of the time. Substitution still has its place and you might use it, but most of the time you're probably going to use elimination. Now that's going to get us to step two where we have two equations now with two variables. And once again, we want to eliminate one of those two variables. And you can do this by substitution or elimination, but once again, probably elimination is going to win out. Now at this point, we should have one of our variables with the, what it is equal to. We can take that and plug it back into one of those two equations to find the second variable. And then once we have that, we're at step three and we can take those two variables, plug them back into our original equation, and we're gonna get our third variable, okay? Now in this video, we're talking specifically about infinitely many solutions. So let's look at this red sentence down here. When solving, if your variables cancel out and you are left with an equation that is true, such as zero equals zero, the system has infinitely many solutions. Now, in a previous video, we talked about no solution and that's when our variables canceled out and we got zero is equal to one or something that is not true, okay? All right, so let's take a look at our example today. And what we're going to do is work through this as if you know we didn't know it was infinitely many, uh, but we're gonna come across that that is our solution and we can actually write a coordinate triple um, using our variables to write uh, any possible solution that would fit this criteria would be a solution. So let's go, go forth and do it today. So the first thing I notice is I have a negative 2y and a positive 2y in these two equations. So if I were just starting off looking at it, I would probably take those two equations and I would try and eliminate y. So we have 2x minus 2y plus 2z equals 12. And then my bottom equation is 2x plus 2y plus 2z equals 12. Okay, so now I'm gonna add those because I wanna eliminate my y variable. So 2x plus 2x is 4x, my y's go away. 2z plus 2z is 4z, and 12 plus 12 is 24, okay? So um, my x and z are still there, so so far it looks like we might have one solution here. Okay, so now that was my top equation and my bottom equation, so now let's use these two, the top two equations, and let's try and write a second equation where we can eliminate y. So we have 2x minus 2y plus 2z equals 12, and we have 10x minus 2y, plus 10z is equal to 60, okay? And now what I see here is I have two negative two y's, so if we subtract these equations, my y variables will eliminate. So we have 2x minus 10x would be negative 8x, 2z minus 10z, negative 8z, and 12 minus 60 would be a negative 48, okay? And so now we have these two equations that we can go ahead and write together to solve for one of our variables. So let's bring it down here to the left and let's write my top equation, negative 8z, or my equation that's on the right, negative 8x minus 8z equals negative 48. And now this equation where we have a four, let's multiply that one by two. All right, this equation we're gonna multiply by two. So we have 8x plus 8z equals 48. All right, and now look what happens when we add these, negative 8x and positive 8x, negative 8z and positive 8z, negative 48 and positive 48. So everything eliminates, right? And we're left with something that's true, zero equals zero. So we can say right here, there are infinitely, I think we misspelled that. There we go, infinitely many solutions, okay? But now sometimes we can write a coordinate triple in terms of the variables. So let's go back to an equation that we had and we'll switch up our color. Let's go back to this equation right here, 4x plus 4z equals 24. And let's solve this for x. Okay, so let's move this 4z over here, minus 4z. So now we have 4x equals 24 minus 4z. And let's divide everything by four. So this tells me that x is equal to six minus z. Okay, and I'm gonna circle that. So um, x could be anything equal to six minus z, right? Anything we wanna plug in for z. Okay, so now um, since we have x is equal to six minus z, we can take that and let's see if our purple shows up here, that's good. And let's plug that into um, the equation that we had just circled there um, for one of our variables, okay? Um, actually, you know what? Let's take that into our, our top equation up here, okay? So let's write this as two times six minus z plus, nope, minus two y 
plus 2z equals 12. So this is going to give me 12 minus 2z minus 2y plus 2z equals 12. Okay, and now we can combine some like terms here. Notice we have a negative 2z and a positive 2z, so those are both going to cancel. And if I subtract this 12 here, then all I have left is negative 2y is equal to 0. Now we could divide by negative 2, and we get y is equal to 0. Okay, so now we have x, we have y. Now let's find z. Okay, so let's go here and do like a navy color. Okay, so let me move this part over just a tad and maybe up a little bit. Okay, so now let's go in the bottom corner here and let's take our uh, equation, the top equation that we had circled that we just used, and now let's plug in zero for y. So now we have two, we knew that x was six minus z, minus two, we know y is zero, plus two z equals 12. So now this is 12 minus two z, and then that's just gonna go away, right? Negative two times zero, plus two z equals 12. Now, once again, we have negative 2z and positive 2z, so those are gonna cancel, and we're left with 12 equals 12, okay? So now, since that is true, and that's an identity, z is just itself, it is z. Z can be anything that we want, right? So z is just equal to z. So now, how can we write this as a coordinate triple? Well, we have what we have uh, for our answers. So x would be six minus z, y is zero, and z is just z. Okay, so it is infinitely many solutions, but we could write the solution as anything that fits this pattern. Six minus z, y has to be zero, and then z can be anything we want. All right, and that's how you solve a three variable system of linear equations when there are infinitely many solutions. <laughs>